everyone, my name is Julia and I'm back again today to show you how I make goat's milk soap the hot process way. I'm using fresh local goat's milk. Right now I'm putting in colloidal oatmeal into my batch and there goes my fresh goat's milk and lye mixture. Now the trick is to making goat's milk soap in the crock pot is to only heat your oils just enough to get everything melted. Um, I use a crock pot with warm setting. Um, the entire cook will actually be done on the warm setting. If your crock pot does not have the warm setting, I would look into either getting one or using your low setting and alternately turning it off and on. Um, it is very important to start this project with very cool lye milk mixture and a your oils pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> this will ensure that your goat's milk doesn't scorch and change the color of your soap. What I usually do is bring this into a trace, just a very thin trace, and throughout the process you're going to see me stirring, and I stir quite a bit. You want to keep it stirred around. I try to keep it away from the edges. You don't want any of it to scorch. Again, you're going to see where I've lifted the lid. It's starting to get a lot thicker than the light trace and I'm just stirring it around. Um, that's what you got to do with the hot process goat's milk soap. You got to keep an eye on it and just keep stirring it. Coming up next is what happens to this soap. It does a complete separation and it will do it every single time. Every single batch that I've had of goat's milk soap does this. It completely separates. If you don't have a stick blender, I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to do this. I've never been successful using just a whisk to try to get this incorporated back again. Um, and I'm telling you, every batch of goat's milk soap has done this. It goes into complete separation. You just use your stick blender and get it all emulsified back together. Here I am again, checking on my soap, stirring it up, just kind of keeping it moving so the edges don't scorch. And here we are one more time. Um, it's just about done now. I'm about to put in my fragrance oil. There goes the fragrance oil. I'm going to mix that up really well. Just before I mold it. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in my log mold. I guess I could pour it in there instead of glop it in there, but I seem to have better success in not having air bubbles in the middle of the soap 
whenever. I just kind of, I guess, spoon it in there, glop it in there. Um, it's kind of difficult to texture the top of hot process soap. I just either, either I'll put a texture on it or kind of try to flatten it out. Um, if I'm not really pleased with the top of the soap, I'll just kind of shave it off. But I hope you try this um, if you haven't already. I just love the feel of goat's milk soap um, made the hot process way. I don't know if it's because it's gelled. Um, I tend to have problems with uh, goat's milk soap when I make it cold process. Either I get it too hot and it scorches this, the milk or um, it'll be too cold and the center will gel and I'll have a big circle in the middle of the soap. Um, I don't have any problems with this way so I've continued to make my goat's milk soap in the crock pot the hot process way. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and hopefully I'll get some more made soon and I will do a video of cutting this soap either late tonight or tomorrow.